Okay, starting a new game. I'm going to go with Miner, so that if I need to I can craft by hand. And by that I mean the Miner is capable of converting ores into plates without using a furnace. I will show an example with this copper here. Look, copper ore. I click on intermediate products. Oh look, I can handcraft some copper plates. So to begin, we're going to need some furnaces. So I've grabbed a whole bunch of stone, which is what you need to craft your basic furnaces. I'm also going to grab some iron, because I'm going to go straight into automation, which would require transport belts. I'm going to turn all that iron into transport belts. And I want some burner inserted as well. So this tutorial today is going to show how to get started basically okay yes you can hand craft iron plates is it a good idea not unless you absolutely need an iron plate right there and then, because it takes too long to be useful. Part of the reason why I am spacing these furnaces as I am is so that I can fit power poles between them. It's also useful for later when we upgrade to electric furnaces because they are larger. I'm believing a space of one between will allow us to remove the stone furnaces and place the electric furnaces without starting over completely they will fit in the same spot. Okay, so at this stage here, we have all going in, plates coming out, both iron and copper. We also have coal fuel feeding them with burner inserters. We don't need burner inserters, I just like filling things with combustible fuel with burner inserters because if ever there's a power issue, usually they keep running and can fuel things. It's not so important with furnaces, but when you look at the power plant, which is just over here, if you've ever got coal still on a belt, but you ran out of power, the inserter will not put the fuel into the boiler, because it requires electricity. But if you use a burner inserter instead, then it doesn't require electricity. Just having coal on the belt will allow it to fuel itself and put the coal into the boiler. One of the possible causes of getting low power could be if you have a biter attack and you have laser turrets. Laser turrets have a power priority of primary, where inserters and most other things in your base have, an in have a power priority of secondary which means if you don't have enough power supply 
to provide the energy required to everything, then the lower priority things like inserters will turn off to allow the laser turrets to consume all the power to defend against the biters. This could result in the boilers running out of fuel and going completely offline, which is one of the reasons why I like to use burner inserters to fuel your boilers. Okay, back to here. Right. That's how to get started. We've got your iron, your copper, we've got stone. Could make some brick factory. I don't think it's a requirement. Okay, at this stage in the game you've got your iron, you've got your copper, you you'd probably start automating some research. I don't think I'm going to show you building that just yet. 